Rolls-Royce, a British manufacturer of luxury automobiles and aircraft engines, has unveiled a revolutionary engine that has the potential to completely transform the aviation sector. The engine, which provides an alternative to electric planes, was demonstrated by CEO Tufan Ergen Biljik. The industry's growing eco-consciousness is bringing attention to electric planes. Startups like Joby Aviation and Lilium, as well as established firms like Airbus and Boeing, are making significant investments in electric and partially electric aircraft. These developments do, however, come with drawbacks, such as restrictions particular to airports, battery weight, and flight distance. Recently, during a Derby England event, Rolls-Royce CEO Ergen Biljik demonstrated the Aeropropyl engine. This highly efficient gas turbine engine outperforms electric engines in multiple important aspects thanks to cutting-edge technology. Electric planes may now do long-distance flights that were previously unfeasible since they can travel farther between refueling stops. Airlines should choose this engine since it emits fewer greenhouse gases than standard jet engines. Owing to its adaptability, the Aeropropel engine may be used in both long- and short-haul aircraft. Because it is compatible with current aircraft and airport infrastructure, it is an excellent option for airlines looking to reduce their environmental impact while also facilitating a more cost-effective transition to environmentally friendly aviation. Apart from its sophisticated technology, the Aeropropel engine exhibits versatility, enabling its use in a wide range of aircraft, including long-haul and regional models. This makes it an excellent option for airlines trying to reduce their environmental impact. Rolls-Royce is working on creating carbon fiber engine blades that are produced by robots. The development has proved essential to the industry's attempts to lessen its impact on the environment. According to the company, 37,000 more passenger-carrying fuel-efficient aircraft will be required in the next 20 years. The business wants to put its engines into as many of these kinds of aircraft as possible because carbon fiber allows the engine to be 20% lighter. Distinguishing the increase in emissions from the increase in air traffic presents a hurdle. Jet engines are still the only available propulsion option for long-haul aircraft, despite efforts by Rolls-Royce and other businesses to develop electric and hybrid systems. To increase productivity, the business is implementing tiny, iterative changes. The improvements that are being made with regard to engines are crucial. Although they may not seem like much in a field that has been developing for decades, every little bit counts toward making those engines run more smoothly. Even while the evolutionary improvements only seem to be a 10% or 12% reduction here or there, there are other intriguing initiatives being worked on, like the corporate reaction, that show how important these tiny margins are in the airline industry, where they can mean a matter of life and death, in an effort to fill a specific market gap for supersonic aircraft, Rolls-Royce is marketing their Sabre engine. The Concorde can only travel at half the velocity of the Sabre engine, which can reach Mach 5. The high temperature that enters the engine, which can exceed 1,000 degrees Celsius, presents problems for the engine, though. In response, Rolls-Royce has developed a cooling system that controls these temperatures. 10% more effective than Trent XWB engines, the pre-cooler circulates coolant through tiny, 1 mm thick tubes. 100% renewable aviation fuel can power the Sabre engine. For the first time in 54 years, Rolls-Royce has tested a new engine architecture, marking a major step forward in the development of more aerodynamic aircraft. New ultrafan engines from Rolls-Royce will power both narrow-body and wide-body aircraft in the future. The engines have a thrust range of 25,000 to 110,000 pounds. As the industry works toward net zero flights by 2050, the technology is anticipated to increase engine efficiency. With a combination of big gears and a transmission to lessen revolutions, Rolls-Royce introduced the ultrafan idea in 2014. For a wide range of propulsion options for future aircraft, this gives manufacturers the flexibility to reduce thrust as needed over the whole power range and provides a portfolio of variation with two or three compressors, direct motion, or a gearbox. For the industry to reach its 2050 target of net zero flights, the declaration is essential. 
With its advanced three-core architecture, the UltraFan Technology Demonstrator offers low emissions and optimum combustion efficiency. Future huge high-power, high-drift bypass engines can benefit from the efficient power provided by the gear design and the fan blades made of carbon and titanium with a composite cover. An important turning point in the development process has been reached when the demonstrator has run successfully at full power, proving the engine's capacity to run at maximum power levels consistently and effectively. The aviation sector may profit greatly from the ultrafan thanks to its increased efficiency, less fuel consumption, decreased carbon emissions, decreased noise, and enhanced passenger experience. It is a promising alternative for commercial airplanes since it also provides increased range and fuel efficiency. The ultrafan engine, which will give a greater range for aircraft fitted with this engine, is scheduled to be released by Rolls-Royce by the end of the decade. In comparison to traditional engines, this technology seeks to increase efficiency and lower carbon emissions, promoting environmental sustainability. Wide and narrow body commercial passenger aircraft are among the many models of aircraft that the ultrafan engine is intended to work with. It is anticipated that airlines looking to cut expenses and increase efficiency will find it to be a compelling choice. The 64 MW power output of the ultrafan engine makes it compatible with fewer toxic fuels than traditional engines. Regulatory certification and agreements with aircraft manufacturers will be necessary for commercial deployment. One of the most suitable choices for the aviation market, the engine and fuel have been tested through Rolls-Royce in the facilities that the company has in Canada, yielding an extremely impressive result in terms of efficiency. It should be noted that regulation currently limits the use of this newly developed sustainable aviation fuel, requiring governments to grant prior authorization. Flights are permitted only using a combination of up to 50% of this fuel. The remaining half must be conventional fuel, such as kerosene. The short and medium-term goal is to achieve transatlantic shipping routes by having a solely able proposal in the warehouses. A gigantic turbofan with blue blades has been designed by Rolls-Royce for its new range of narrow and wide-body aircraft engines. The fan is 3.56 meters in diameter and produces a thrust of 25,000 to 110,000 pounds. Compared to the largest engine in the aircraft class, General Electric's G9X, it is over 5% bigger. On the other hand, the swept area grows with a slight increase in diameter. Rolls-Royce's unique robot-controlled 3D composite manufacturing technique, which can create intricate fan blade forms, is used in the ultrafan. The blades are lighter than all the titanium fans used in Rolls-Royce's Trent-class engines, since just the leading edges are made of titanium and the remaining portion is composed of carbon. This lightweight fan allows Rolls-Royce to build an engine of this size, freeing up weight for extra payload and passengers. The Boeing 777X is to be powered by the compact, high-performance Rolls-Royce G9X engine. Its small turbines and huge air volumes surrounding the compressor core result in a 35% reduction in noise and an increase in fuel economy. The engine was evolved from the GE90, its predecessor, which was the power plant for the Boeing 777 and its derivatives. With a total diameter of nearly 4M and a greater fan diameter of 3.40M, the GE9X is even lighter than the fuselage of a vintage Boeing 737. The engine, which has the highest recorded thrust in history, is intended to power the wide-body Boeing 777X and its variations. According to measurements, the G9X appears to be even lighter than the fuselage. With a thrust output of 105,000 pounds, the new Rolls-Royce Ultrafan engine, the G9X, is predicted to create a substantial amount more thrust than the Boeing 777X engine which only produces 13, 24,300 pounds. Ceramic matrix composite CMC components, which are anticipated to perform better at high press turbine temperatures, will be used in the engine. In comparison to the Trent engine family, the engine is anticipated to provide about 25% more fuel efficiency and power, both narrow and wide body aircraft. For testing purposes, the engine will run entirely on sustainable aviation fuel. Using Reef Test Data technology, which gathers information from over 10,000 characteristics and can detect vibrations at a rate of up to 200,000 samples per second, 
Rolls-Royce has constructed a new test facility to validate each blade. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned for more exciting updates and reviews on the latest automotive innovations.